Hey everybody, this is Kenny with Beat Body Training and today we're going to talk about protein. What is it and why do you need it? Now, protein, okay, now protein is the essential part of muscle growth. Basically, if you're not getting enough protein throughout the day, it's going to be very hard, and I mean very hard for your body to maintain that level of muscle growth that so many guys and women are trying to achieve in the gym. Now, protein is basically made up of amino acids. Now, some of you are like, what the heck is an amino acid? Amino acids are the building blocks of your muscle and your body. And without enough amino acids in your body, you're not going to repair fast enough. You're not going to grow fast enough. And I guarantee you, you're not going to maintain that level of muscle density and the growth that you're trying to have. And remember, the more muscle you have, the more fat you're going to burn. So you want to make sure you're taking in an adequate amount of protein. Now, protein, it's made up of uh, carbons, it's made up of oxygen, it's made up of hydrogen, it's made up of nitrogen. Now, you want to make sure, again, that throughout the day, you're having enough protein within your, your diet, how you structure your meals. Because you want to be what's called an anabolic state. So basically, when you're on the positive side of the nitrogen balance, you are in an anabolic state. And contrast to that, if you're in the negative side of the nitrogen balance, that's called a catabolic state. Now, you're probably like, what the heck's catabolic and anabolic? And these are terms that are not commonly used in our day-to-day -day life. Well, basically, when you have enough protein, you're anabolic. When you don't have enough protein, you become catabolic and what that means is that when you starve yourself or you don't give yourself enough protein in your meals your body is going to eat the fuel in the muscles before it actually eats the fat so if you're like oh my god i'm gonna starve myself today and then you step on the scale in the morning and say you're down a couple of pounds well it's probably not fat that you lost your body probably ate the muscle just to survive that day and it most likely will do that. So we want to avoid being in a catabolic state when you're trying to build muscle. That's probably one of the things that all bodybuilders or even uh, athletes, whether you're a track runner, soccer player, basketball player, that's one of the things that you got to make sure you, you avoid is going catabolic because you run the risk of when we're overtraining, we're practicing day in and day out, you're running up and down fields or you're, you're in the gym all the time pumping iron you are always breaking down those muscles. So you wanna make sure you are fueling them and rebuilding those amino acids. So you don't wanna be catabolic, we wanna be anabolic. Now they say that if you're trying to build muscle, uh, you should take in about 30 to 40 grams of protein every two to three hours. That can be hard for a lot of people depending on your, your schedule. I don't know what your, your job is or your career is and it may not allow you to have that. So, you know, I understand the convenience of a protein shake. I do understand the convenience of it. I always say try and get it through whole food. Things like um, eggs, fish, meat. Heck, you can even have soy and milk if you really needed to. But those are uh, saturated fats. And then you're going to take in a little bit more than protein. You're going to get some saturated fat. But I say do it through whole foods. If you must have it uh, through a protein shake, do a whey isolate. It's fast absorbing. Uh, you're going to get 100% of it. And it goes uh, directly to your muscles after a workout. So something like a whey isolate protein shake if you guys are really looking for something quick, that would be the recommendation. A lot of people do that already. Uh, so take that. But again, I also, I always say get the whole food. Learn to eat and cook and prepare whole food. That's my recommendation on that. But again, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to not go catabolic. Uh, and you're not gonna go catabolic right away, but in general, we wanna make sure we stay away from going to that catabolic state. And uh, if you're kinda wondering, what catabolic looks like versus anabolic. I want you to think of this. Think of, think of a track runner, right? You've seen the US track running team. These guys and girls are ripped, right? They got thick, full, lean muscle. They look great. And then catabolic would be, uh, think of like a Kenyan marathon runner, 
right? I mean, they don't need to, to have so much muscle on them. They just need to run like a hundred miles, like in a day. And what do you think their body is doing? Their body doesn't carry fat, it barely carries muscle. So those ones are usually in the catabolic state versus the track runner who runs, you know, a hundred meter sprint, boom, real quick, fast switch muscles. They're thick, they're full, they're lean. That's anabolic. So we want to, again, lean towards anabolic versus catabolic. So again, they say every two to three hours, 30 to 40 grams of protein. Uh, now, like I said, if you are vegetarian, that might be harder for you to take in things like fish, which is a great source of protein where you're getting 81% of the protein that you're intaking versus soy, which is like 61%. But today, a lot of these supplement companies have figured out ways to even help uh, vegans and vegetarians get in enough of uh, the protein that they need to build muscle. So there really isn't an excuse to not have enough protein in your diet. I know there's tons of uh, vegan protein shakes out there on the market right now that offer 27 to 30 grams of protein per scoop. So there's tons of things for you to actually get your protein. Now, again, that's going to be the only thing we're going to talk about in this video. And if you learned anything from this, I want you to make sure that you stay anabolic instead of catabolic. Okay? Don't waste all that muscle by starving yourself. And you're trying so hard in the gym to build it so you can burn fat. And then if you don't fuel the muscle with complete protein sources, your muscle is going to be the first thing that gets eaten versus the fat. So just so you step on the scale, you're like, oh my god, I lost, I lost weight. No, you didn't lose weight, you, you lost muscle. And we want to avoid that. So any good trainer or any program that you're on should always emphasize that. And there's tons of protein sources. Even in my meal plan, I list a complete list of all the protein sources that I recommend for you guys to have. So. I hope that helps guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, rate the video, share the video, and go to my website www.beatbodytraining.com. I have my meal plan available ready for download. You pay for it, 74 bucks, and it's Dropbox to your email address just like that. So if you have any questions you want me to answer, email me at beatbodytrainingkenny at gmail.com and I'll be glad to help you guys. Have a great day. Take care. Peace.